Okay, and welcome back to another episode of the Saucy Boys. Saucy. I go by the name of your one and only favorite DJ podcaster person. Whoa. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> like, this is, let's start making titles. What an intro. Nah, it's just me, Nunchuck. Yeah, it's me, Michael Stokes, you know. Man, so, what's good? What's good? What's good? What are we getting into this week? A um, little bit of drink making. My personal holiday favorite. I've coined it as the throwed eggnog. Now you can do it however you want. Uh, I'll show you guys how to make that. We're going to talk about scammer season. It's scamming season oh, out there, man. Oh, fuck yeah. We're going to go into a little bit of a, the rules of weddings. And then we'll do a little music corner. And uh, touch on that Silk Sonic album that I finally got to listen to. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Um, but yeah, just get started. Um, so, The Throat Eggnog. A holiday treat. You like eggnog? I do. Okay. I, I wouldn't I, have I, I wouldn't cared if you didn't. If you don't like <laughs> eggnog, you can you know kiss kiss my ass. A lot of so. people are like, ugh, eggnog. I'm I don't like, get it. Like, like, fuck y'all. It's delicious. Yeah, it's, it's yummy. Pause. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, basically what I wanted to do is most people always go for the Pennsylvania Dutch yeah. when it comes to getting the alcoholic version. So when I went to Total Wine today, I was like, well, I've had Pennsylvania Dutch. Let me try a different one. Mm -hmm. So we're doing Winter Haven Farms uh, alcoholic eggnog mixed with your choice of bourbon. Uh, we got Bibb and Tucker's here. And then that's, uh, was it Hudson, New York? Yes, sir. Bourbon also. Yes, sir. Little, uh, little shot of Kahlua. And then you top it off with the real eggnog, the non-alcoholic, just to make it a little bit better. So I think Chaku is drinking one with the Hudson New York bourbon, and mine has the Bibb and Tuckers. Also, take a gander at the new glasses. Shout out to my girl. Yeah, we got some new joints. So. Yeah. Cheers. They got the official logo on them. Oh. And eggnog is a thick bevy. So what's going on? Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm not expecting you to have a second glass because it is a thick beverage, but if you do, the ice is already in there. If so. I have a second glass, I may be done for. It's that strong? I only gave you a no, shot. No, it's not strong. It's just, it's delicious. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, this is going to go down easy. Okay. And then I'm going to be like, I'm going to pour up another one, and then, you know, by glass two or three, we might have some fucking problems. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be real, I'm enjoying this right now. This whole month of just making these beverages has been pretty good because now I'm like the life of the party. <laughs> yeah. I went to a party last week, as I told you, off pod, and I actually brought the Thanksgiving margarita. It is a fucking hit, my guy. It is a <laughs> Did hit. Did you do the, the uh, cinnamon sugar on the rim? Oh, yeah. Damn. Oh, yeah. The cinnamon. only thing I didn't have was a cinnamon stick Damn. to the garnish at the top. But this was just quicks, you know? And I had to go to Whole Foods to get that... Uh, the apple cider, yeah, the same one you had, but they, um, they have it at HEB. No, they didn't. Not what? the one. Not one. We, not the one we went to. They were uh, all out. Must have been a hood HEB. They had, uh, no. It was actually the Lincoln Heights one, the one that I used to love. Damn. Were they playing Jay Dilla? No, nah, no, nah, they weren't playing nothing fly that time. Some it was, bullshit. Yeah, it was, I guess ever since we left from that area, they just changed up the playlist. They're, They're like, like oh, damn, Stokes is gone. Yeah, he's not coming no more. Fuck. Then you came back though. Like, oh, fuck it up. <laughs> Put the playlist back up. <laughs> But Whole Foods was popping, man. They had a whole wall of that cider. Whereas like H E B, they didn't have shit on the shelves. All they had was the sparkling shit, mm -hmm. and that's not the same. Yeah. So I was just like, nah, we can't do that. Yeah, but, we can't. No, no, that's a no, no. But yeah, so that margarita, it was getting popping, and uh, people was loving it. And I, I, on the way over here, I actually my girl hit me up and was like, hey, my friend wants that the recipe to the margarita. I was like, oh, does she? You know how she's gonna get it? <laughs> she gotta listen to the podcast, yep. baby. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want any of these recipes, gotta listen to the podcast. You damn right. I mean, they're pretty. I mean, if you got Google, it's not hard to find. Yeah. So I mean, that's how I found it. Also, movie at the sound off. Rush hour two. Rush hour two. A classic. Yeah. But I wanted to get into something. It is the holiday season. And oh. when the holiday season comes around, it is also scammer season, my boy. Yep. I've spent two Christmases at a bank basically telling people about scamming season and how easy it is to get scammed. And all, all the while I'm doing this, 
I didn't take the necessary precautions myself, and I am indeed a victim of the scamming season, my boy. Bro. I can't believe it. So, to give you guys a little insight, what happened? Saturday, it's a normal Saturday. I wake up. You know, I'm always up early, no so matter what. Just the ordinary day. You know, ordinary day. Ice cube, good day, starting out nice. I was like, yo, my girl's still asleep. I got like three hours before she gets up. I'm going to jump on PlayStation, get a couple runs in on NBA 2K. It's going to be good. I hop on, play a game. Then I go and like look at like the, the Black Friday deals on there. I'm just like, ah, oh, nothing I like. My girl gets up. She's got a day plan with her mom. She's going to the outlets to go Christmas shopping. So on her way out the door, like I pause the game. I go to the restroom, go say bye to my girl. I'm not gone for like probably like 15 minutes. And then when I come back, I like pick up my controller to start playing. And, you know, it looks like my system signed off on the Internet. Like it's like you've signed out a PSN, signed back in. I'm like, all right, cool. So I just go to do it. And it's just like that password's incorrect. And I'm just like, what the fuck? And then all of a sudden I get an email And it's like, it's from PlayStation. And it's just like, hey, you've set up your two-step verification. He's like, congratulations. And I was like, what the fuck? And he was like, if you want your your code to input, download the verification app. And you can input the code to get access to it. I'm like, oh, okay. So, like, I start looking through Apple for, like, a PlayStation verification app. They don't have one. It's just, like, the random verification app if you want to put, like, two-step verifications on all your on all the shit on your phone yeah so like when i'm downloading that i get another email and it hits me and it's like congratulate it's just like thank you for your purchase of fifa 22 and i'm just like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> like nigga i don't play fifa like, yeah yeah it's like no offense i know soccer is the most popular sport in the world i'm not a soccer guy at all i don't like it it's a boring sport to me um, no offense also, but yeah, I've never bought in FIFA in my life. I'm like, why the fuck would I buy that? And so immediately when I see that, I was like, oh shit, I got hacked. I'm just like, you got to be shitting me. So like I, I go to the, I go to my bank app first, freeze the card immediately. Yeah. And that comes in handy later on. I'm like, okay, cool. Froze the card. Then I go and try and get back into PlayStation, try and sign back in on my PlayStation. Now I got to like reset my password as quick as possible. All the while I'm doing this, I'm calling my bank to let them know that I'm trying to report fraud. And um, when I sign, when I finally get signed back in and reset my password to something longer and I add my own two step verification, I get on because I have to do it on my laptop. When I sign in, it shows like your online cart, yeah. like you were shopping. This motherfucker had three more games in the cart. <laughs> He had Mortal Kombat 11, the new Call of Duty, and last year's Call of Duty in the cart. My and man's they, just trying to get his game like, on. Yeah, he was, he was going to hit me the fuck up. And he, was, he almost got through, but I froze the card in time. So <laughs> he, he, couldn't use my, he couldn't use my card to get, get that shit. Man. So I go through that. I tell the bank, put my fraud claim in and everything. I, so like I'm, I'm super paranoid now. So like I'm changing all my passwords going through. Yeah. I get through Saturday night. I think I'm good. Sunday comes around, I get through Sunday, and then Sunday night at like 1.30 in the morning, I'm chilling, I'm watching Netflix, and I get a fucking, well, hold up, back, back, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Motherfucker tries to hack my, my personal email also. So it's like after PlayStation, fortunately for me, Google is super strict, mm-hmm. and if you log in in like a different zip code, Google will be like, is this you? Hey. Is this you? <laughs> And, like, they were just like, hey, we blocked somebody in fucking Syria trying to log into your personal uh, uh, email account. It's like, is this you? Did you go to Did you go to uh, the Middle East, nigga? And I was like, no. Thank you. Like, the last, like, 12 hours? Like, yeah. It's like, how'd you get over there that fast? Uh, we want to know. And I'm just like, no, that wasn't me. So, like, I, I was like, thank you for the block. Keep that bitch blocked. Had to reset the password. So, I, I'm, I think I'm done. Sunday. 1 30 in the morning i'm chilling and the fucking hacker emails me dog he fucking emails me bro the balls on this motherfucker and you know why i'm pissed because touche you bitch touche he tried to play good samaritan this motherfucker tells me in the email he goes hey just to let you know i found i was able to find your personal information because uh, uh, through like a, a hack that happened on PayPal. And he was like, so 
hackers like to get this stuff. Like hackers will take your information and sell it and people will take it and do what they want with it. But I just wanted to let you know, I'm not a hacker. I don't like hacking things. I, I'm, I stand completely against it. So that's why I tell people when this happens. This is verbatim what the email says. And it's like, what you should do is reset your password. Make sure it's nice and long. And then, like he put like a link on there for me to click on to fish me into like resetting my password. Yeah, yeah, like that. And then at the bottom of the email is like, I don't call, I don't ask for payments. But if you did want to pay me, I happily take donations for my services. And it's like you can hit my PayPal ball and all this shit. And I was just like, you motherfucker, dog, the balls, I, the internet, man. <laughs> you can niggas just be wild and it's robbing season too. So. Motherfuckers is gonna be doing what they do when it comes to the scamming shit. I'm saying, bro. But that shit is wild, man. And then on top of that, too, it's like it makes it even worse because you can't see their face. I know. So you don't know what the fuck this person looks like. I was so hot, dog. And like, it's just like, man, if I could punch you right in the fucking throat. And you know what it is? Like, the only reason I use PayPal was because that's how I pay the guy in Atlanta for the shirts. Dog. That's it. And, like, every other time I ever used PayPal, I did it for, like, when I bought shit on eBay. Yeah. I'd always take my card off because I would get all these fake emails saying, like, oh, reset your your pa- your, your uh, PayPal account has been uh, been hacked and shit. And I would just, like, disregard it because I, I knew my card wasn't on there. Yeah. And the one time I leave my shit on there for a month, that's when it happens. And uh. so because my password was the same to sign into PayPal... My username and password were the same as signing to PayPal. Yeah. They got that and then fucking went to my PlayStation and was like, well, fuck it. Let's try it here. Oh, shit. It works, too. Damn. It's <laughs> just like, oh, shit. That's the card that's on PayPal. Let's run it up, baby. And that's what they tried to do. So all in all, fortunately for me, I only lost $40, which PlayStation gladly refunded back to me. And I'm so happy about that. Thank you, PlayStation. But yeah. You got to keep your head on the swivel, guys. It is scamming season. That's crazy. And that's why, I just, I that's why I don't click none of them links. And I always get text messages and shit like, hey. And the reason why I know that it's a scammer is because they say Chaku. And all of my accounts that I have, it's under my government name. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, like, you're not going to get me. And then um, today I got a call. And it was like, your uh, Amazon account is showing fraudulent activity. Mm-hmm. The iPhone 11, uh, press one. And I'm like, nope, I ain't pressing shit. I'm going to hang up. And the sad thing is there's like so many elderly people who that, get that yeah. call. They're like, Amazon, what? Yep. Oh, no. And then they'll just, they'll end up giving out all their personal information. But, hey, I've just shown to you, I've just given you evidence that you don't have to be elderly and borderline senile for it to happen to you, too. They can get you yeah. just from being careless i was careless and i fucked around on that so a little psa for all y'all listeners out there uh you know go ahead and reset your passwords and and make it something long Mm -hmm. and something you'll remember stash that shit somewhere and then yeah change all it because that shit bro like once they get that it's over it's I'm so if you don't if you don't catch it in time, yeah, they'll run that shit the fuck up. Or not on top. Always check your bank account too. Yeah. Like I know I know so many people who are just like, well, I got money, I don't have to look at my account, and I'm just I like, bet. See when all that shit it's is like, gone. yeah, it's so fucking dumb because you gonna you gonna fuck around and go somewhere and just pull out your card routinely and it's gonna be declined. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, sorry, your card doesn't work. <laughs> what? What do you mean? I have money. And then you're gonna be that <laughs> asshole causing a scene because you know you've got money, but you I mean you thought you had money or whatnot, but. Man, oh, also the story continues. He tried to sign into my Facebook today. Damn. And that I don't even remember my password for that. So I was just like, oh, okay, cool. So it's obviously not the password he thought he had. Yeah. Motherfucker. I'm, I'm changing all my passwords. But uh, yeah, so they've been hitting me up, man. It's, it's crazy, bro. I just never thought it could happen that simple. I'm just, I'm playing PlayStation when it happens. And I'm just like, what? just locked me out like i've heard of that happening to other people but it's just i don't know like oh i admit i've never been like like for the longest time especially this last decade my mentality was just like i'm broke 
Like, if anyone wastes their time and hacks yeah. me, like, that's on you, dog. Like, you ain't getting nothing out of me. Like, you my credit shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like what? nigga, my account is negative $30. You ain't getting nothing. Like, yo, help me out, nigga. They like, gonna, yeah, they gonna put money in your account. <laughs> help me out. What was that uh, TikTok when they go to rob that dude and he's like in an empty apartment? He hands him a gun. He's like, come on, nigga, come with us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That was me. That was me for like a solid like five years out of this last decade. But now I'm actually I'm I'm doing okay. Yeah, I'm doing I'm not, okay. I'm not doing great, but I've got uh, I've worked hard to get this credit score that I have. But so. I, I noticed when forty dollars is missing from my fucking you, account because somebody wanted right. to buy fucking FIFA <laughs> for a bullshit game. I'm not gonna play. Yeah, fuck that. That shit is crazy, man. Like I just that that scares me too because like just all the accounts and shit that you have. Like you got Facebook, Instagram, you got all your Venmos, your mm-hmm. Cash Apps, you got all your bank apps, you got a lot of shit, and it's all on your phone. And once they get like one password, boom, they it's like a virus, man. They just run it through your whole shit. And then not only that too, it's just like an invasion of fucking privacy. Yes, I feel like I'm always being looked at now. Yeah, it's like you looking through all my it just it's a it's a dirty feeling i had somebody break into my car one time yeah and it, they didn't steal anything but just that feeling like i was like damn this nigga just like went through my whole shit someone was in here like they was in here somebody i didn't know was in here and the area that i was in it was like a large homeless population around there yeah so i'm pretty sure it was a homeless dude because there was 200 hundred dollar beats headphones in my my glove compartment but all that motherfucker took was <laughs> all the change <laughs> he, he saw took, that change yeah. it's like oh that's like two tall boys and he did not uh he she they did not miss a single fucking coin in my car that's and two four loco guarantee so like when i carry cash like and i have like change i'll just throw it somewhere in my car like yeah. and it just let it accumulate and i'll take it to coinstar um you know randolph yeah and then just you know deposit that shit right so it had to be at least like like thirty dollars and change <laughs> no bullshit because it was all quarters yeah man i get my car that shit i'm like i see papers and i'm like what the fuck i'm like i didn't take these out and i was like oh fuck because at that time my car remote like when i pressed lock not all my doors were locked because the battery was low yeah so i was like fuck and so I'm like looking through my car and I'm like trying to make sure everything is like still there. Headphones are still there. I think I had another phone in my uh my console. And then I had my headphones in the fucking glove compartment and uh, thank God I didn't have my fucking equipment in the car. Yeah. Sometimes I do and I'm just like, oh, I need to stop doing that shit." But um yeah, so <laughs> like I I look and I see all these papers and shit all over the place and I'm like what the fuck like everything in my glove compartment is like on the fucking floor it's like god damn and i look at my little change thing and that shit is fucking empty <laughs> that shit like they my would, change they wouldn't even dust in that bitch like he was like he got every fucking penny and then so like later on that night like when i was leaving i seen some homeless dude walking by i was like this was probably the motherfucker that took all my change i was like well i hope you enjoy them beers my guy because Got lit off the like, steel reserves, bro. Like, nigga, I would have just gave you five dollars. Like, <laughs> fuck. And it's it's funny too, like when people say, "Oh, well, I don't give homeless people money because they're just gonna buy drugs." I'm like, I don't give a fuck what they buy, man. Like, just let them be happy in their own little world, right? So I was um I was going to North Star one day. This is like a month or two ago, and I like stopped to get gas at like the Valero, and like uh, you know, like them big wig. The big wig dudes in the super truck who are coming from like the oil fields, they hop out their truck. Yeah. And there's a guy like sitting on the ground in front, and he's just like, he walks up to him, and I, I just, I could hear everything he said because he was just so fucking loud. He was just like, What do you need? And he's just like, Oh man, I'm just looking for some cash. And he's just like, All right, yeah, I'm, I know that. But he's like, How much you need? And shit. And he's like, Man, I ain't even going to lie. It's Friday. I just want to get a fucking beer, bro. And he's like, All right, here you go. <laughs> He just gave him a 20. He's like, enjoy yourself, man. Just have fun. Don't yeah. get into trouble. It's just, you know, he was honest with them. So he's just like, all right, yeah. cool. Fuck it. Here's a 20. Enjoy yourself. It is Friday. I, I'm waiting to get off, too. Like, yeah. And I, that's, what, that's what that made me think I about. just, because, like, sometimes, too, it's like I'll catch myself, like, leaving, you know, somewhere. And I'll see, like, somebody, you know, less fortunate. 
And I was like, all right, cool. Like, I, I have the means to do that, so I'm going to do that. And yeah. I'm not like them niggas. Like, I hate when people post shit on, like, social media. I'm like, oh, my God, mm. I helped this homeless guy out. Look at me. Uh, yeah, I'm look, going I'm, to heaven. I'm doing a good deed. Yeah. yeah. Give me likes, guys. So, yeah, that shit is corny as fuck to me. Um, But, no, nah, like, I just, like, you know, walking out of QT, you know, seeing people outside. And they just kind of, like, especially during the summer, yeah. that shit make me feel so bad. When I walk out and I have a big ass like cold bottle of water and these <laughs> niggas is just sweating, like sitting there fucking red. I'm I try like, not to make eye contact. I'm just like, Ugh. I. That's why. <laughs> like usually, if I'm walking in and I see somebody outside and they looking like that, like I'll, I'll grab two and I'll just toss one out to him. Like, hey, you know. As I, long as they're not like super abrasive. So like going to school in Austin. Yo, what up to the alma mater? Um, <laughs> you know, like Austin has like a huge homeless population and yeah. like, I guess like some of them are just like, yeah, we're homeless. We know it, but we don't give a fuck. And it's like, they be mobbing on you, dog. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. it's, it's another level. It's to the point where it's like, yo, back the fuck up. I can help one of y'all, but if you go all run up on me, I can't, start, can't do nothing. Start throwing hands. Yeah. Man. And it's like, I'll never forget when I was like running late for work one time and like my job was in like an area that was not like good. And, like, I, like, park my car, and I'm, like, getting ready to go into work, and, like, a, a homeless woman, like, comes out, and he's like, hey, do you have any money on you? I was like, I'm sorry, all I got is my card. And she was like, oh, well, just drive me over to the gas station then and use the ATM. I'm like, bitch, I'm late. Like, yeah. I got to go to work. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Like, you going to ask me to take, no. Like, what? And then yeah. I was, I told her that, and she was like, oh, well, how do you feel selling out for the man? I was like, well, the man makes sure I'm not on this fucking back alley begging for money, bitch. And I just walked aside. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, that was mean, but she deserved it. But yeah, I've been around like super abrasive homeless people she, in Austin and shit. She was out of fucking line. Yeah, she was. She deserved that. I had to clap back on her. You Fuck know, her. you know what's funny about homeless people downtown San Antonio is they're crafty as fuck. Mm -hmm. So one night I'm leaving Macaba, and this guy standing outside, and he's wearing a button up, some jeans, like some you know sneakers, whatever. And so I'm walking out, and he's like, hello, sir, how are you doing? I was like, oh, good. And, you know, he's like, did you have a good night? Like, look, fun time in there. Like, so I figured he was inside the club. Yeah. He didn't look like a fucking homeless dude. And so he's sitting there talking to me for me. He's like, oh, well, what's your name? And I was like, uh, Chaku Johnson. He's like, oh, well, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> and, like, he's, like, chopping it up with me. So I'm like, okay, cool. It's just this drunk black dude, like, yeah. like chopping it up with me. I was like, all right, cool, because there was still a bunch of people outside. And so I figured, like, he was probably waiting for somebody. Like, I wouldn't think about, you know, shit. Man, so, like, it starts to, like, time starts to, like, you know, pass by. And, like, people are leaving and shit. This nigga's still here. And I'm like, why is this man still here? Why is he still talking to me? And he's like, well, Mr. Johnson, uh, I just want to let you know I used to be a teacher for it. And then that's when the story came out. Oh, shit. And he was like, and I just needed a dollar fifty for the bus. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, why don't you just lead with that? I would have just gave you a dollar fifty. Should have saved me some fucking time. Yeah, I mean the conversation was cool. He was like, "I'm from Louisiana, blah blah blah." I was like, "Honestly, dude, like I know you just want to get a fucking beer, so you know, just you know, tell me what's up." But yeah, it was just it. It fucking he fooled the shit out of me because he's just like in a button up. And he didn't look like a fucking homeless dude. Had a watch on and like all kinds of shit. I'm like, nigga, why don't you go get a job, bro? Like, So one of the things that changed my perspective about homeless people was I saw something that um, was basically saying that like at least 80% of homeless people all have like some type of mental health problem. Yeah. That never that either got diagnosed and they did not want to see they did not want to receive the help. Yeah. Or it went undiagnosed and they just end up on the street because like some people like I used to just think like, oh, if you're white and you're on the street, that's a personal choice. Like, I'm sorry, it's fucked up. I used to think that a lot. Yeah. But it's like I never looked into the fact of like, no, they actually could be schizophrenic. And when their family tried to help them, they ran off or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Schizophrenia can make you go from being like a very have it together person to just fucking to like yeah like you're fucking walking around naked outside and you just have no fucking recollection of why you're doing it you know what i'm saying just out of there i mean that too and it's just like some people that get caught up in you know doing some of them crazy drugs like yeah like meth and all that shit and they end up you know just kind of losing their shit and they be out there so um what's it that movie have you seen that movie um with jake Hall where he's like the the 
Operator? Yeah, fuck that movie. What's it called? I forgot. The Guilty? There we go. Guilty. Yeah. But it's crazy because the whole time you think like this chick is like, a spoiler alert, Yeah. you think this chick is like being hurt by this dude, but she's actually the one that's just like fucking, fucking crazy. crazy. Fucking yeah. balls to the wall and shit. Yeah, so. But, you know, anytime I see somebody that's going through some shit, I try to help them out and, you know, just hook them up to the best of my abilities. I'm not going to say I'm going to buy these niggas car or nothing, but. Who's that scene in uh, was it Scary Movie One? He's like, oh, do you have a dollar? And she like gives him a sandwich. And he's like, I said a dollar, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Does the sandwich back at? <laughs> Yo, I had that shit one time. Did, have I told you about this? Uh uh-uh. uh So, uh, me and my chick, we was walking out of uh, uh, yard house. This is a while back, a long time ago, and. We're walking out of your house and there's this dude, this homeless dude. This motherfucker has one eye. Like he's just sitting up against the fucking wall. He's all like like slumped. And I'm like, damn, this motherfucker's probably like hungry. Or like you need some water or something. I got this burger and I got like some ribs and like all kinds of shit in this box. I'm like, here yeah, man, did you want some food? Like, I'm not gonna because I'm I guarantee you, like nine times out of ten, if I put leftovers in my fridge, I'm not gonna eat them. Yeah. If I don't eat them as soon as I get back to the house because I get hungry again, I put them in the fridge and then they just kind of sit there. Damn, you're like my girl, man. I always eat my leftovers. I, it just depends on what it is. Yeah. <clears throat> if it's pizza, I, that should have lasted me a while. Like I already got my girl's pattern down. Like she has a 48 hour window. <laughs> and it's like if she doesn't eat it like within the first twenty four, then I know it's mine. It's just like I'm taking it. Like, I'm just like, oh, I got this. It's <laughs> mine. It's mine. Fuck yeah. But yeah, so I I handed them the box and I was like, hey man, if you want if you wanted this man, you can you can have it. He's like, well, what is it? I was like, niggas food. What the fuck you mean? What? <laughs> like I kind of got mad. I was just like, <laughs> nourishment. Like yeah. I was like, is it? he's like, well, like what is it? Can can I eat it? Is it edible? I'm like. And he started getting like like fucking snotty with me. Is it is it on a gluten free bun? Yeah, like <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> it, d- d- is there mayonnaise? Because I don't eat mayonnaise. This motherfucker. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, damn, dude, I was trying to be nice. You over here being an asshole. I was like, get my goddamn leftovers back. It's fucked up. But I just walked off, and I guess he ate them. I, I hope he ate them because them ribs was a little pricey. I would have took him back. <laughs> Get my fucking ribs. The rig's bad, nigga. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. So but, you know, if you see a homeless person, you know, try to be nice to him. Give please. Him, yeah, you know. Please. If you got extra change, just throw it to him. Yeah. It'll be all right. If, my, you know, I got a bunch of clothes that I need to get rid of, and I'm thinking about, like, taking. Because I see them often downtown. Because yeah. I'm always downtown, so. Actually, like, giving them to them? Yeah. I don't want to go through, like, no fucking goodwill and no shit like that because mm-hmm. you know they, they be trying like you take them to goodwill they're gonna resell them shits so yeah. I, i'd rather just straight to you know cut the middleman yeah i mean just, like here motherfuckers just bag i think like uh man i forgot who it is i think he's want to say it's like saint philip no nah. there's some some church saint something that the donations do go to homeless people. Okay. I forgot who yeah, it is. I mean, I haven't really looked into it, but I mean, I figure I see somebody. Like, I used to uh, keep some old shoes in my trunk because I know, like, people downtown, they be walking around, like, barefoot. Mm-hmm. And so this one dude, actually, I ran into him at a gas station, and uh, he was out there. His wife, his fucking girlfriend was pregnant. And he's like, man, he's like, I, I just, like, he's like, I need, he's like, I need money. He's like, I'm trying to buy shoes. Because uh, he's like, I, like I just got out. I, something about I think he just got out of jail. Mm-hmm. He's like, and he didn't even have no fucking shoes on. And his wife or his girlfriend at the time had like his shoes. Oh. And so in my trunk, I had like a pair of Vans, and I actually had some dress shoes that I never wear because like they hurt my feet, and they were his size. But the reason he was saying that he needed money was because he was trying to go to Ross and buy a pair of dress shoes because he had a job interview the mm-hmm. next day. And so, like, it, I, it it blew my fucking mind because I had him in my trunk, and I was like, yo. I was like, dog. I was like, wait. Happen. Yeah, so I popped trunk, and I had, uh, I had like, two pairs of old Vans in there and then uh, the dress shoes, and I was like, dog, take these. And I think it was just because I had just moved. Yeah. And so I still, like, you know, you don't take all your shit out. You're just like, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. tired. So I had all them shits in my trunk. And I was like, yo, like, take all this. nigga started crying. I was like, bro, don't do that. No, yo, get the fuck away. <laughs> don't do that. You're going to make me emotional, man. I don't get, I'm a gangster. I don't cry, nigga. Get the fuck away from but, <laughs> but yeah. Man, stop all that soft stop shit. Stop crying, nigga. Man, just go get that job. 
Get that child, homie. But yeah, she was pregnant, pregnant. Man. I just, I felt bad, bro. What tugs at my heartstrings is when I see a, a homeless person with a dog. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm just like, because they're doing it. They, they don't have much, but they're doing everything they can possible to make sure that the animal mm-hmm. is in good, is like living good. You know what I'm saying? Like I saw like one during the summer sometime. I was just like driving past and like he was like, had a bottle of water and he was like letting his dog get a drink. And I was just like, oh. Got a little. Uh, let me get home. Yeah. <laughs> let, so, let me get home. It, it's crazy, but you know, I try to do what I can. Yeah. And do it without fucking posting that shit on social media. That's the worst part. That's that's easily one of the worst things that have happened in the, with the advent of social media and yeah. instant gratification. It's the I can't just do something just to do it. I have to post it because I got to get my like, here, here yeah. Mike, grab my camera. I'm yeah. going to give this guy some stuff. I'm like, no, man, just go and give him the shit. No, like, because that proves that it's not genuine. You yeah. set it up like you want intentionally. To. Like, yo, get me doing this. Like, why? Even just if do you, it. Even if you do do it out of the goodness of your heart, like, just don't record the shit. I know people like amass followings and it a lot of them opportunities to like get money from, you know, sponsors and shit and do stuff for them. That's great. Yeah. But if you're just like a regular person, man, just... Just give him the shit. So I remember one time, uh, I think it was like Christmas of, I think it was 01. I think it was 20 years ago, actually. Um, back on base, you know, like I explained it, we lived in duplexes or whatnot. Yeah. And we had this family uh, move in next to us like three months before Christmas. And it's like a single dad and he got three kids all to himself. And like he would come around and like, you know, because your parents would like smoke cigarettes. They'd be on the porch and there's not a lot of space between you guys. So you start talking and shit. Yeah. And that's how you get to know them. And then like I remember like word got back to to us or to my mom that I guess like one time when they were talking because he had to come bum a cigarette. He said like, yeah, I just I I lost. I don't have all my I don't have money this year for because mo- I moved. Mm-hmm. I had to do the move. I forgot what they said happened to the mom or everything like that. But basically, he was just like, I, I just got to prepare to tell these kids that there's not going to be a Christmas this year. Man, and like that fucked me up so much that like, like me and my homeboy like, we did we did like raked yards. We did all this shit to try and scratch up some money so that we can give them like gifts. And we ended up doing it. Like our parents, of course, helped. Yeah. They like threw us like an extra like forty fifty dollars, and like we ended up like getting these gifts, wrapping them. And since they were my neighbors, like I think it was Christmas Eve, I went and put them on the porch and rung the doorbell and ran off. <laughs> like yeah, and jet, like I was younger then, so I could hit the jets, man. They couldn't see me, <laughs> but like yeah, they got them. And then like I I, I like specifically told because my mom was like, I'm gonna go tell them <laughs> that my baby boy did, that. and I was like, no, don't tell like, them don't, that. Yeah, don't, don't yeah. fuck it up. Like no, just let them like. Just see what he says, and like apparently he was like in tears, like I don't know who did it, but uh, I'm so happy that they they came and you know like left these gifts. Or like, man, it was I, it just popped into my head just now. But this is long before social media, yeah. and I didn't give a fuck about that. In fact, I even forgot about the memory. You know what I'm saying? But it just came back. But I remember how happy it made me feel. Of like just like like because I couldn't sleep at night. At like thirteen, like, like re- these kids ain't gonna have a Christmas. Like yeah, I was just like, dude, I'm getting all this fly shit from my parents, and these kids like they gotta grow. They, they ain't gonna have nothing this they year. Have, I was like, I they have to skip one. Like yeah, yeah. and it's just like we just went down the toy aisle. I was like, get three of everything. I was like, I'll get three for this kid. You get three for that kid, and then we'll get three for the youngest. Yeah, and it was like you know, hey, dope what's shit. crazy to me too is because there's a common missing like misconception that if you live on base or if you're a kid in the military like your family has money yeah and it's like that's not the case and so i I remember telling you just recently that the kid on base uh from my program uh, yeah he he was wearing these big ass shoes and he like would run in the gym and they would like slip off his feet so i'm like hey man what size you wear and he actually wore the same size i wore so i was like i had some extra shit in the closet and i just grabbed like three or four pairs that i don't fuck with and i was like hey man like like I, and I told him, I, I said, try these on here. It's like, let me know which ones fit, and um, like whatever ones you want to take, you can take them. Yeah. And so he's like, oh, well, what am I gonna tell my mom? Like walking home with all these shoes, and I was like, I just say you, got you them stole from, them. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, just say you got them from a friend, man. Like don't you just like. Yeah. And so he ended up telling her that I gave them to her, and so she was like, she had texted him, and she was like, hey, she's like, well, 
are you sure it's okay that he has these shoes because like they're really nice shoes and you can reason mind you i've had these shoes for like 10 years yeah like close to like five to ten years and that's how like it is they're, they're old shoes and i mean i'm not going i got two feet motherfucker like i can't yeah. you know so um but she was like it's okay like you could resell those i'm like hey if, she, if you want to resell them go ahead like but i mean homie had the the big old sketches on and them shits was falling off his feet and i was like bro like you need some sneaks damn gotta get your mans out the sketches so but yeah, yeah. no he, he yeah, and now he wears motherfuckers every day that's what's up i'm like yeah he made his fucking day bro so, made his life who yeah. remember that shit but nah i mean speaking of sneakers and scammers <laughs> uh, <laughs> shoe balance they, 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 yeah they fall, <laughs> they fall along the same lines yeah all right so to everybody listening out there and y'all can chime in on instagram or comment on youtube but how do y'all feel about shoe palace because i get real like fucking flea market vibes whenever i walk in the shoe palace i'm just like are these shoes even real it's a shady environment everyone looks like snake oil salesmen and it's like when you texted me about it, it's like I said, I heard a rumor years ago that like it was straight up like from like a pre- a, a really reputable source when it comes to sneaker culture. It was like, do not shop at, at Shoe Palace. They sell fakes. And I was just like, OK. And I ran with it. Now, granted, when I go to the mall. If I got time, I'll slide through and like look and just look. But like but I never I, yeah. see shit. And then when I do see shit, I'm like, oh, is it real? Yeah. And it's never with the intention of buying. I'm just like looking to see if I can like pick up a fake and I don't know, I might call them out on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's just like, to me, it's like, how are y'all going to present this shoe saying that y'all got it when all the real shoe sources say that they, they're they sold out yeah. or resellers have them sold out, but like, y'all got this? Like, like they had the pollen, uh, the pollen uh, ones. The, the, <laughs> the And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> How the fuck are you getting these? And JD don't even have those shoe palace. Yeah, shoe palace. Oh, fuck out of here. And they just like popped up out of nowhere. Like, who did they like? Who bought them? Or I who, have no clue. Like, where did they come from? Because I know JD popped up because they. I think they bought out like Finish Line or some shit. Yeah. So like, I know where they came from. But it remind shoe palace reminds me of like you remember Image back in the day. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. It was like Image where you got all these. These Texas shirts and all this, yeah. this, this, this contemporary gear of even the time. The, even the clothing in there. I'm yeah. like, yo, this is some like real flea market. Just shit. like, yeah, it's real, but it's like high quality flea market. Fucking gear. city trends. Yeah, city trends. Yeah, damn, <laughs> that's what it feels like. And it is like I said, there's another joint up in Austin, but I won't. Li- I won't say the name because my <laughs> homeboy put me on it. But I got the same feeling going through there. Like I walked in, smelled like copious amounts of marijuana. No problem there. But the fact is, I'm looking at the shoes, and the shoes have clearly been worn, but you're <laughs> selling them for a fucking new price, and I'm not feeling that. Like, I'm not paying 450 for a pair of Yeezys where I can clearly see the dirt on the bottom of these motherfuckers. It's like the little brown. Like, yeah. Shit, like, the, the soles are all oxidized I and shit. I picked it up, and I'm like looking at it. I was like, you niggas couldn't even clean this shit? Like, you didn't, not, not a spray of Windex? Like, you know? You gonna run nothing on that bitch before you saran wrapped it and stuck it on the shelf? Not even a wipey? Like, shit. <laughs> but you want four fifty? Like the fuck out of yeah, here! Hell no. So. Yo, but it's just crazy. And then like when I see resellers, like I went to when I was in Vegas, I sent you a picture of those shoes. Mm-hmm. I'm like, are these even fucking real, bro? Like y'all are running it up. Y'all, y'all are charging five, six hundred dollars for a hundred fifty dollar shoe. I'm saying, like that is crazy. And so that's why I told uh, I'll never pay more than retail. Resellers have ruined the world. This they is did. why. This is why you can't get a PS Five. Because yeah. resellers and their bots bought all of them, and so now they're hitting people up for redi- double the price like to get a G. It. Yeah, right? yeah. And it's a five hundred dollar console at most, even if you get the top, the high, the highest quality one. I'm like, nigga, I'm not buying that shit unless I'm buying it for retail. And that's my purpose. Or I if refuse. I'm, if I'm buying it in a bundle and it come with a game, I refuse to support a reseller with a PS Five. So that's why I will not get one until PlayStation starts making more. I you know and it's sad man because there's so many people that have access to that kind of technology where they just like oh. be buying the shit out of sites and then you got a nigga with a whole garage full of PS5s oh my god and motherfuckers can't get one for Christmas. I remember when them hoes went on sale, motherfuckers were like posting their their fucking order receipts of like oh I bought five of them I'm like man you fucking suck yeah like you're the worst. 
the worst human being in the world. I mean, I, get your paper, but you're still a bitch. I you know see, what I'm saying? You know, I could see if they bought them for you know retail price and then they sold them for like maybe like a hundred dollars more than re, you know. Nah, they want retail. the they they charging like a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars yep. for a five hundred dollar console. Like fuck out of here. They treating them motherfuckers like Turbo Man, dog. Yeah, well, I'm glad I'm, I got my Turbo Man. He over there looking at me in the box. Don't nobody come for my Turbo Man. You get in the hands. <laughs> got Timmy's Turbo Man months ago. <laughs> Safely nestled under the tree. <laughs> man. That's crazy. But, yeah, Shoe Palace, man, I just get those vibes. And I don't know where they came from, but they are not, like, my shoe store to go to. Mm-mm. And then even going to Foot Locker and Champs. And what's the other one? champs foot locker foot action foot action yeah those i'm not a fan they never have shit they, yeah they don't have shit in foot action they never have shit foot action is the worst i'm like how y'all open who's buying these i don't shoes? know who's i do not who know. are buying the shoes and foot action and champs and foot locker and okay so niggas who like jordan fusions that's who <laughs> talk <laughs> the fusions are so trash <laughs> The fusions are so trash. I mean, if you like the way they look and you can rock them, they're cool. I mean, you know. I remember my old brother in law. He he just he rocked Jordans, thinking like all Jordans were alike. And I remember one time he was like, "Yo, man, I got this fly ass pair of Jordans." I was like, "Oh, word!" He like showed them. To, it was back when they did like the Air Force One mixed with the Eleven. Uh, yeah, he's like, "Yo, man, look at these. These are the hottest Jordans out." I was like, "Nah, nigga." <laughs> I hated the fusion Jordans. I hated them. <laughs> and I used to hate when niggas used to wear the fucking clear Air Force Ones. Oh. Their fucking feet be all hot. <laughs> it should be all damp in the inside. Sweaty fucking sock. Yeah, it's all a bunch of condensation <laughs> on the toe. Who who knew? Who thought that would be a good idea? <laughs> like these the condensation tins. But yeah, god damn. Rosalind Sanchez. I about to say I forgot what her name is, but she fine as shit. Gorgeous. Um but yeah, I'm gonna give you my list of like shoe stores to like go to and cop shit. Mm-hmm. And my my top is JD because I can just go in there randomly and they ha- they got some shit on the shelf and I'll be like, whoa. I remember before I got my pair of uh, Air Max 97s, mm-hmm. they had a pretty decent pair in there at the one in Rolling Oaks, and I almost copped them. I just really wasn't sold on the colorway yeah. so i just left them but they had them in my size but see, i couldn't believe it that's the dope thing too about jd is like they have like the styles for one but then they have like the different colorways and it, like i go there and like they have like different colorways of the blazer that they don't have at Foot Locker and, yeah. and whatever and it's, i feel like it's more exclusive so you know shout out to jd for that but i'm gonna say jd first Foot Locker second champs third and then Foot action, whatever, and then shoe palaces. <laughs> we ain't never buy enough from shoe yeah, palaces. I, I I honestly forget to go in there sometimes. Yeah. Like if I'm looking for a pair of shoes, one of course I'm going online because of my foot. If I'm looking for like my nephew or some shit, like because little kids fuck up shoes, I'm just yeah. like, and it's kind of cool. It don't look like no cheap ass shoe, then yeah, you know, I, I cop one. You know who else hasn't been on their a game with shoes? And and I feel like it's been a while too. The Nike outlet. Yo, the outlets used to have fire. I used to find heat but at even, the Nike even outlet. Even at the, the Timberland joint or uh, the Vans store. That's where I got. No, I still get. I still find heat at the Vans outlet. I haven't found shit at the Vans store in a long time. I still find heat there. I, I, I will stand by that. But Nike outlet hasn't been good in like a couple years. Like I'll slide through and they just ain't got shit. And it'd it be annoying the fuck out of me. Oh, you want another one? Hey, yeah, I'm thinking about it, man. Right, I got I you, second glass. I got you, Chief. I got you, man. Mike about to whip it up for me in a, a real major way, whipping nog. But yeah, I don't know, man. It's just it sucks too because, like, you get these you get these sneaker releases, and so like I went to the um, I'm not gonna give away my my top secret spot because niggas is funny. JD, JD, I'm just funny. But there's a mall here in San Antonio that a lot of people. Never mind, I'm not going to get too many details. <laughs> I mean, there ain't too many malls here, yeah, nigga. It's I just know. It's process of elimination now. Nah. South Park, South Park. I go to South Park. <laughs> um, yeah, so, like, I go and, and dudes, like, they had the Yeezys on the counter, the the oats. And I was like, okay. I was like, duh. I was like, so y'all just, he's like, nah. He's like, we get stuff out here, but nobody ever comes down here. South Park. 
<laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever comes down here to buy sneakers. They just they don't think that we have anything. And I was like, oh, okay. And so homie, <laughs> <laughs> so homie told me he was like, look, he's like, um, come back whenever they release. He's like, it's first come first serve. I was like, all right, bet, nigga. I pull up the day of. And I try to get my size, and he's like, oh, well, the size uh, 10 and a half is reserved for raffle. I'm like, that motherfucker told me whenever I came in here that there wasn't going to be no raffle. It was first come, first serve. So now y'all niggas is doing raffle. I didn't get mad. I didn't say that. I was like, all right, well, give me a size 10. I had to go down the size. Man, my goddamn feet hurt. Goddamn. So the the shitty thing about like these dudes in these shoe stores is they know and if you ain't homies with them motherfuckers or if you don't know them they gonna hook up all their people first I, that's what i feel like personally i don't know if that's the shit that's going down but that's what it felt like and then i went in there recently and so the guy sees me a lot yeah because i'll be in and out of the shoe stores because i'll be trying to cop like just shit here and there and so every time he sees me come in like he be acting funny and i'm like dog like i'm just i'm trying to buy sneakers Oh, it's that nigga I told him the shoes was going to be on raffle. Yeah. I, you probably feel bad about that shit because I came in there and had to get the fucking little baby size. So, yeah, I don't know. Them niggas be doing shady shit. But fa- fast forward um, to this past weekend. I stopped in the JD because I'm looking for a pair of Jordans, uh, the ones, the Bordeaux, right? Yeah. And they're supposed to be in, but they ain't got in because they've been having all kinds of fucking problems with shipping. And so I, I walk in there. And what do they have sitting on the fucking counter? The oats. Oats. The ones that I bought. So I just walk up to him. I'm like, out of curiosity, what size do y'all have? He's like, 10 and a half. I was like, this motherfucker. So I had to buy them. And I bought them. So now I'm selling my, my size 10s. They're just sitting on the couch over there staring at me. But yeah. Anybody so. want a pair of size 10 oats? And then. I oh, man. See, I just. You know, the, some of these shoe places are janky. And then I hate buying shit from StockX because they run it up yeah, and they, they got like a service fee. Then they got the shipping fee. Then they just got the because fee. Yeah. No, I, seriously. Nobody likes StockX. It's just convenient. It's 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 the last resort of shoes. Like if you really got to have the shoe, go there. That was me with my um my questions last year. Like I really really wanted those bbc questions and i knew nowhere else had them in my size so i just ate the i ate the extra 35 fucking dollars yeah. and just and bought them from there but even with that it, it's the fucking weight like it takes so long. it does because they gotta and so i told you i went and bought those ones and then they ended up not being authentic yeah so they gotta pass like the authenticity, but I mean, who's really doing it? Well, here's the thing: I bought my Air Maxes, my Air Max ninety sevens. Mm-hmm. eBay, uh, not eBay, my bad. <laughs> oh, eBay, you dating yourself? Yeah, I am. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> eBay has an authenticity guarantee, and they do it too, but it's fucking quick. Yeah. It's not. Oh, we have to send this to a guy on a different side of the the nation. Mm-hmm. For him to look at and then send them to you. And it's just like, no. They do it all in one fell swoop. So in that week, it's like, yeah, they've been purchased. They've been authenticated. Now they're being sent to you. Here you go. Yeah, see, the ones I got, they, it's that shit took like a month. Yeah. I was like, damn, where the fuck are these shoes at? You forgot you even ordered yeah, them. Yeah, I know. They showed up. I was like, oh, yeah, I guess I bought shoes. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I just, if I really want something and I can't cop, because the sneakers app is fucking garbage. Confirmed app is fucking garbage, and whatever else app that you have to do to fucking enter and you just get the notification that you took the L, all y'all trash. Confirm, you fucking bitch. Sorry, I'm just in my feelings right now. If I had a debit card, I I'd, I'd be trying for them Home Alone. Uh, I, I put my I put my forms. I put my hat in the ring. Yeah. So we'll see. Right. But yeah, I don't know. I just I hope you get them. Man, y'all resellers, stop fucking up the game, man. That's that's life now, man. I just, I just want cool shoes. Y'all making it hard. That's life. And I'm not finna pay a G for them motherfuckers. And it's always like, I feel like most of the resellers are like some square-ass motherfuckers. It's just some nerdy-ass dude. Yeah, who that, don't even fuck with shoes like that. that. They just like, I don't need some money, man. He just knows he can get bread off yeah. it. Yeah. I wish I was smart. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just I'm playing. Too. I couldn't be a reseller. I don't have the heart to do that. Be charging people fucking stupid amounts of money for some shit that got made for like $20. Yeah. I just I envy them, I guess. 
But yeah. you're a big ones guy. You you really like your Jordan ones, man. I'm uh, I do. Damn, I I do. I've never been a big fan of them. Don't I, know why. I feel like here's why. I feel like the Jordan one, just like the Air Force one, is like the gateway for the square nigga to to be like a, a shoe a shoe a shoe guy. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like is like, oh, what's your favorite shoe? Oh man, the Jordan One. I was like, yeah, of course it is. You know my reasoning why I like the Jordan One is because, in my opinion, they're the most comfortable Jordan. I probably I, I would assume they are. And I've only owned one pair of Jordans in my life, and they weren't comfortable. But the only reason I was really, I was buying Dunks before I bought the Jordan Ones. Yeah. And the only thing about the Dunks is the Dunks are a little bit like. Thicker. It's like it's like the middle between a, a Air Force One and then a Jordan One. Yeah, they're not as chunky and like heavy. It's all generally the same silhouette, though. Yeah, you know, it's like the Air Force One is the the OG, and then they tweaked it for the Jordan for the Jordan One, and then the Dunk is basically like you said, it's just like fuck it, we'll just make it thicker. It's like, it's like a blend. Yeah. But yeah, that too is just, for some reason I like high tops. But the low, I'm I've been buying lows recently, so I got a couple of pairs of lows. I haven't bought a high top in a while, actually. Now that I think about it, I don't know. I just feel like it looks good with joggers. Yeah, I mean it's like the perfect jogger. And shoe. then like jeans too. So. I want some. <clears throat> so I got a pair of Air Max ninety eights, ninety sevens. The only thing I need now is a a pair of ninety fives, but I just haven't found one that looks good. Uh, like a decent colorway. And I think about it because back in the, like 10 years ago when like the Air Max 90 was coming back out and everybody was on those. Mm-hmm. I remember I had a couple pairs of them, but now I look back and I'm just like, I don't like the Air Max 90. I never like Air Max. Like, I don't get it. Like, I, I just, I didn't understood the, I don't know. I, I mean, I fell part of the, the craze and like bottom, but it's just like, they weren't comfortable. The Air Max Nine, the Air Max 90 is supposed to be like this really comfortable shoe and it was never comfortable for me. I always wore it just for the look. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like uh, uh the only Air Max I fuck with is 270. I yeah. I don't have any other right. Air Maxes. I just mainly cuz I didn't like how they looked. There's some that I see now that I look and I'm like, "Oh, those are actually all right, but I I don't know if I'd buy any." No, the 97 and 98, I just it's a nostalgia thing for me. Yeah. I remember when they came out and I always wanted them when I was a kid, but I never got them. So now it's just like that's kind of what I'm them. doing now. It's like all the kids, like all the shoes I didn't get when I was in like high school or like a kid. I'm just like, oh, I could buy those. Like eventually, <laughs> I want to get a pair of Jordan Elevens. Like that's why I was saying, like I wanted those cool grays. When they yeah, because that's like, I mean, that's like the coveted shoe. You know what I'm saying? Like I never owned a pair of. I, I tried for that. Took that alone. Yeah, but they're doing another drop soon. Yeah, um, hopefully, I can get them. I'm gonna say, you know, I didn't. I never had the opportunity to have the to buy the the Wave Runners, the mm-hmm. 700s. And I bought some 700s. I forgot the name of them. But um, in my opinion, those are actually the most comfortable Yeezys. The the Waves? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So More comfortable than the 350? Yeah. Wow. Way more comfortable than the 350. That's crazy. But the 350 is more comfortable after you wear it enough. They're yeah. kind of, they're kind of tight at first. Yeah. But then after you wear them a while, like you they, definitely mold, they definitely mold to your foot. Yeah. Um but the 700 is like right off the bat. Like they're just fucking comfortable. That's and crazy. then the 500s it takes a little bit but they're they're comfortable. And then the 500 highs they're just hard to get on. Yeah. They're just hard to get on. Here's a question I got for you cuz I see you got all your shoes out. <laughs> And for all the 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 listeners right now, Chaku has a rack of most of his shoes, like uh, the the ones that are in rotation right now. Yeah, those, are the, those that's the rotation rack, right at the front door. Very nice, very nice. Are you? Do you keep your boxes? I I do. Okay. And I need to stop. The only, okay, so there's some boxes that I have that are like dope. They just like they look cool. So like a pair of Nikes that I bought recently, like they look cool. Like I got those, but like all my ones boxes, like I want to throw away. All my Yeezy boxes, I want to throw away. Um, I mean, everything else is just kind of. I don't know. I gotta keep the Yeezy box. I don't. I don't know why I like it. I, it's so I, basic. I'm just like fuck it. I love the box, but if you look at my closet, it just it looks like a fucking Yeezy warehouse. <laughs> Like this is just so many of those boxes. Uh, Yeezy like, reseller, huh? I'm like, no, 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 it's not me. I'm not doing it. Fuck FBI busting. <laughs> Give me all your Yeezys. 
Nah, you did you ever see that video of like when Dennis Rodman got some Yeezys? Yeah. And how he fucking ripped open the box and shit. Yeah. Like I was like, oh <laughs> like why would oh! you why would you do that? It, not, it has a it has a finger hole right there, Dennis. I'm like, that's not how you open it, you <laughs> animal. <laughs> fucking savage over there just tearing hurt, the box hurt my fucking heart, dog. He, he might as well open that shit with his teeth. Ugh. Yeah, he tore that shit up. Oh my goodness. That was when I realized he had drinking problems. But then when he opened up, like when he had the shoe, like the shoe was just so fucking big. Yeah. I was like, damn, this motherfucker got big oh, ass feet. Fucking Rodman, man. I swear. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think I'm getting to a point where like I'm 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 about to start just throwing away my boxes. <sighs> I don't know, it's tough. They're kinda hard to part with. I don't know why. So here's the thing. When I moved out, when I well, when I moved in with my girl or whatnot, I had some Back in the day, like, I don't know, they, were, they had, like, a run of Nike outlet. I got, like, a bunch of, like, Air Force Ones for, like, very cheap. And I wore them, I wore them a lot, but then, like, I remember, like, I just stopped wearing them one time, and they fell to the back of my closet. But, like, the boxes just weren't holding up. So, eventually, I just had to throw the box out anyways. But that's because the box was, like, giving way, and, like, yeah. you know, it was, it was deteriorating. So, there was no point in keeping the box. But... If it's something like my, um, I call them my David Robinsons. I got them like six years ago at Foot Locker, but the, I think it's like the the um, the Billy the Hoyles. Yeah, the flights. They're the uh, the what's it called the the Woody Harrelson the White Man Can't Jumps. Yeah, but the colorway I got is the David Robinson colorway. The, so it's like the Spurs colorway. Like those, I keep in the box all the time. Because that's like my 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 goat shoe. That's like my coveted shoe that it's I like, always want. It's like the Grail. Yeah, that's my holy Grail. Per- personally, and like I can't. The shoes aren't the same without the box. Yeah, and, and it's like I'm the type of person. Like I even stuff the 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 paper back, back in there. Yeah, I'm fucking weird. I know. Yeah, I do the same shit, but. And my dad, too, whenever I was, like, moving on my shit and he was helping me, he's like, why the fuck you got all these boxes? He's like, don't ask no questions, nigga. I'm like, damn. <laughs> and I've been, like, doing this shit with, like, for his birthday and, like, Christmas and shit. Like, I'll buy him shoes because he don't really be on sneakers like that. Yeah. But we were in uh, South Dakota and I had the 500s, the Yeezys. And he was like, hey, what kind of shoes are those? He's like, let me wear those. And so he tried them on. This motherfucker was wearing my shit all over South Dakota, like Snake. like they were his. Styling. We're out in a <laughs> we we go fishing, and he's wearing them, and they're loading the boat into the water, and this nigga's standing in the water <laughs> in my Yeezys, and I'm just like, I was like, God damn, Dad, uh, I love you, but you you fucking up my shoes. There's a TikTok like that. It's like I'm gonna buy you your own so you can fuck yours up. And there's a TikTok where like a dude was like. Uh, my dad wore my my three fifties to mow the lawn. It was, <laughs> it was like the fucking the the volt ones, the yeah. lime green volts and shit. And like he's like taking them off with all the grass and shit stains on. It's like what the fuck, dad? <laughs> That's the shit my dad would do because you know he so, don't really care. That's about a good shit. shoe. He's like, it's a really this, good this shoe. Is small fucking comfortable. How, how much was these? Let I'm gonna get full wearing maxim maximization out of this. Yeah. So I, I try to buy him some fly sneakers every time I, I get a chance to. Yeah, I tried that with my pops, but he's a he's a character, and that shit <laughs> that shit don't work. You know, like when I was staying with him, he'd be checking my gear and you know, all the time. He'd be like, "Oh man, what type of shoes are those?" I'm like, "They're Vans." You know, they just yeah, it's a flat bottom shoe. You can rock it whenever. And like he kept like eyeing my shit. So like one of his birthdays, I bought him a pair of Vans, and like I know he's got sensitive feet, so I got him like the comfy cush. Yeah, nigga didn't wear them. <laughs> nigga put him in his closet. Like, I make I make sure my dad wear. I'm like, hey dad, you know what I'm saying? Because I I'll have a pair of shoes, and I'm like, hey dad, try these on because we wear the same size. I'm gonna try these on. You like them? He's like, and he tries to play. He tries to do. Oh yeah, I mean, I guess they cool. I got yeah, you know, they comfortable, or whatever. Like, I, that's how I, I can tell he likes the yeah. shit. And then so like I pull up with the with the box on Christmas. And he's like, he try to act surprised. You know, he getting some shoes. Yeah. My dad knows what the fuck he's getting for Christmas. He just, I don't know. I guess that many years in the game, he just can't wait to see what Chaco gets. Me. It, so he opens the box. He's like, "Oh, shoes. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, man. Thanks." You, you got them Ultra Boost last year, right? Yeah, yeah. I remember helping you wrap them shits. Man, that nigga wears them shits everywhere. I bet them ones are comfortable. He just like he put them on. And it's like in the movies when niggas put on shoes and like the camera go on them and they get that first step. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, start off his day on a, See, on a good foot. That's what it was with me and my pops, cause he like kept he kept going in my room and seeing like my shit, cause I used to have my my box all in the corner, my all my boxes in the corner. Yeah, he's like, yo, what what are them shoes right there that look like uh, like slip ons or whatnot? And I was like, oh, those are my NMDs, like my Adidas NMDs, and like they they got the laces, but it don't matter, like you don't have to tie them. I was like, they're really comfortable. I don't wear them no more because I had already gotten my Yeezys and I had like another pair of Adidas. So like they just fell out of rotation. Yeah. I was like, all you got to do is wash them and they're yours. Yeah. And like, he was like, really? I was like, yeah, you can have them. I don't care. Nigga never wears them. <laughs> like I let him, I let him try them on. He's like, oh, these are really comfortable. I like these. I was like, yo, keep them. Have them. They're yours. Doesn't wear them. See, that's the opposite because my dad, he wear the shit out them shoes. Yeah. Like I see them ultra boots now. I'm like, damn, nigga, you give him a break. Like, <laughs> You can, you can take them off sometime. <laughs> you don't have to wear them all the time. Yeah. You be in bed, sleep with them on and shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, my pops is like, this nigga, he's, he, I know he likes more comfort and shit, but like the thing that annoyed me was like, he like called my aunt in Philly and he was like, do, do people in Philly wear, wear, uh, wear vans? <laughs> like, yeah, to get the, the street check. Yeah. And like, she was like, nah. But I was like, man, she's 65. The fuck she knows? She, she wear kids. Like, yeah. She, and that's what she told him. She was like, well, I got me some new Skechers. Like, that's what I want. <laughs> I want you to get me some Skechers, Mike. And I was like, oh, oh my, my goodness. God. And that was when I was like, I can't, I can't help this nigga. I can't help this nigga because he don't know fashion. He thinks just because he's from Philly, he knows fashion. Yeah. But he his mind is fucked up because I keep telling him you don't have to live on the East Coast to know fashion now. Yeah, it's called the internet. We got, the, in we got like, the internet. Yeah, yeah. It's like, but he don't get that, and that's what annoys the shit out of me. My dad's hilarious because uh, I used to work in American Eagle, so I get like discounts on clothes and shit. And um, I was telling my dad, I'm like, Dad, like, why are you wearing these jeans, bro? Like, what the fuck? These, these jeans have been through it. Like, they fucking <laughs> faded. <laughs> like, they used to be black, but they like the color of my couch. They look like they distressed jeans, but they weren't bought distressed. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm like, Dad, you've had these motherfuckers for like 20 years. I was like, what's your size? I was like, let me get you some jeans. And so he tells me, and I bought him some uh, some original cut from uh, American Eagle. Yeah. He's like, man, don't be giving me no goddamn, like, you know, <laughs> don't give me no skinny jeans. Hey, don't give me no skinny jeans. He in that age range though. Yeah, man. he's like, I don't want no skinny jeans, right? So I get him the I get him the jeans from American Eagle and the original. So they're you know a little bit loose fitting, but they're tighter than the ones that he has because the ones that he gets are like like the city trends he, joints. Yeah, he got them Nike them them nineties cut jeans. Where the legs be all fucking yeah. wide and shit. Yeah. So I get him the the uh, American Eagle joints and he, he tries them on. He's like, man, you got me skinny jeans. I was like, no, I did. I did not get you skinny jeans. I was like, just like wear them. Just wear them. So just he's like, them. he's like, all right. And so he like he sets them on the bed. And for the longest time, like I didn't see him wear them. And then so one day, like I go to the house, and this nigga's like getting up and he's like getting ready to go do something. And he's he's putting on the jeans. Hey, mom's like, those are your dad's favorite jeans. I was like, <laughs> I fucking know. I know. <laughs> I was like, they look good, right, Dad? He's like. Yeah, they are right or whatever. I see you checking your gear in the mirror, nigga. And, and so I see those jeans now. I bought them a, a few years ago. The motherfuckers are so worn. Yeah. Why do old niggas just like wear the fuck out of jeans? I have jeans from like the five, like past like five, six years that still look kind of new. My dad's jeans are just like, they're going through it. I'm nah. like, damn, I got to buy you another pair of shit. Jeez. Nah, because of my weight gain, I can't fit shit from five or six years ago. So. <laughs> Unfortunately oh, for me, I had to get rid of all that shit. But I do remember, like at least like the first five years out of high school, I had like jeans that I had gotten like in high school, and they last, and they lasted, and I, I'd still rock them every now and then. I was just like, "Fuck it, man, these are nice." I look at my dad's jeans; yeah. motherfuckers all faded. Ah, yeah. I'm like God, damn. washing them too much, like some black. Like my pops got like a pair of like, because I remember vividly buying, going, and like he got them <laughs> with me. He got like a pair of like South Pole. <laughs> Yo, and jean that's, shorts that's all my dad's jeans why didn't old niggas like, like wear jean shorts and like platinum fubu yeah jean shorts that are like faded to death because he's been washing them for like 20 fucking years but he still lo- he still loves them and in the back pocket it got some mark from where their wallet's at <laughs> that big thick ass wallet yes. 
<laughs> That's how you know you're getting all when your wallet thick like this. Yeah. <laughs> like how you, how the fuck you get that in your pocket? Yeah, I did. <laughs> like how many receipts are in that day? Like I don't um, know. I, I think I got a couple of a uh, couple of gift cards though. So. You know how many times I'd be at the bank and a nigga just comes and pulls that brick out their back pocket and just <laughs> slaps it on the counter? Like I got a lot of transactions to do today. I was like, yeah, I'm like, sure I, you do. I fucking see that. I'm sure you do, my guy. Yeah. Like, do you really need like the whole photo album in there with your with your wallet, nigga? Like, Are you sure that's not two wallets? Like man? fuck. <laughs> oh shit! It hit somebody in the head with that, and it'd be a murder weapon. I, I was looking at my credit card thing today, and I was like, I got way too many cards in here. I was like, I gotta cut this down to just like two or three cards because I got way too much shit in here. Ugh, I don't. I, I pray I never get like that, or I just got a big thick ass wallet for no reason. I, so here's the thing: I don't think I can ever get to like the clip like you but even my wallet it's nowhere near my dad's size but i do know it still looks big and and that's why like and the reason why i know that is because like i can't i can't put it in my back pocket sometimes <laughs> like i hate uh, one i hate having in my back pocket a lot of times because it's like you know it's uncomfortable to sit on that yeah. and fuck your spine up that's but what i heard that's you know what that's kind of that's kind of why i moved to the clip because i was like man because I, I used to have a, like a little thick ass like yeah. old louis vuitton wallet I was like, yeah, nah, I gotta move to the clip. Yeah, mine's not like like that. I I tend to clean my wallet out like every six months. Like I'm just like, why do I got these coupons in here? What is you that? got like fucking fortune cookies? Eh, papers you know, in there. stupid shit. shit. For for the longest time, it was like that. But yeah. yeah. Oh well. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> as we go off, it's we, a, as we dig down into the rabbit hole, we we went down that one. I hope y'all like that. Um, but I went to a wedding on Friday. On Friday night, it was uh, my girl's co-worker. Um, she got the invite. And, like, while I was there, bro, you ever, all right, so we're at the age where, like, weddings are just going to start happening around you all the time if they have not already started. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's just, it's going to happen. I don't like weddings. <laughs> like, that's what I'm getting to. Like, I feel uncomfortable at weddings like, all the time, especially if, if it's not, like, an immediate family member or a very close friend. I feel super fucking uncomfortable. At I'm like, why? I'm like, I, I don't feel like I should be here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I and it happened to me at the wedding that we went to where I got asked like, oh, well, how do you know the groom? And I was like, oh, I don't know the groom. <laughs> and like, you know what I'm saying? I felt like shit. It, Cause like, then it's like, oh, so how do you know the bride? And he was like, uh, uh, it's my, my, my girlfriend's coworker, I guess. And he was like, oh, okay. Well, enjoy yourself. You have a great day. And, Fortunately, it was it wasn't an open bar, so it was like I wasn't like freeloading and shit. <laughs> I, was I wasn't saying yeah. that. I'd have been like, no, nah, I don't know nobody. I was just <laughs> here for the open bar. Yeah, <laughs> like I wasn't wedding crashing or nothing. But it's like, I mean, they did have like they were catered by Bill Miller's, and we all got plates. And I was just like, man, what if this was somebody else's plate? Like, what if they ran out of food because my my big ass came and took someone's plate? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was just like, I was thinking about that. I was like, man, you ever felt like just awkward at a fucking wedding? You I know? do it all the time. When it comes to like shit like that, like weddings or like any kind of event, like baby showers, like anything. I don't know. I just feel weird at events. Yeah. I don't know. It's just. Because everybody wants to talk and like everybody like, oh, so what do you do? It's like, I don't really want to talk to you about that. Yeah. We talk about something else though. Yeah. <laughs> my other girl, my girl's other coworker and her husband was there and like he just kept. I didn't even want to sit next to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a seat on the other side of my girl. And she was like, oh, babe, sit right here. Sit at this seat. And I'm just like, motherfucker. Like, Damn it. So I got to sit next to him. And he was like, <laughs> hey, how's it going? And I was yeah. like, oh, fuck, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck me, dog. Oh, so, shit. yeah, it was just, it, it got old real fast. And, like, at one point, he was, like, on TikTok. And he like, looked at me. He was like, man, you look bored. And I was just like. I mean, <laughs> we're, I mean, we're not doing nothing. We're just sitting here, and that too is like I don't really know a lot of people here. Yeah, and it's like my and girl. I, I probably won't see y'all again. But, I know, but yeah, the girl's like, "Oh, you want to dance?" I'm like, I don't want to draw attention to myself. Like, no. <laughs> like, why would I want to dance? I'm, I'm here trying to be low key. They I'm think a, I'm the yeah. motherfucker here trying to get free drinks. It's like, yeah. Like, why would I do that? <laughs> yeah. And we went like spent time at the foot. We spent like thirty fucking minutes at the photo booth. I was just like, yo. How many more pictures do we need? <laughs> yeah. It's just oh, the abs- the absurdity. But, yeah, weddings are a beautiful thing, just not my thing. You know where I felt super awkward at? 
was fucking Elliot's wedding. Oh shit! Because <laughs> for it's like it's a bunch of people I work with and like I chill with, but for some reason I just felt super fucking awkward. Yeah, I was like, oh man, and then everybody wanted to do the Cuban shuffle and <laughs> that yeah, the funny. wobble and shit. As we were leaving, they were doing the Cupid shuffle. <laughs> yeah. And then Elliot was out there getting it, the fucking California love. Yeah, I was yeah. like, all right, all right. Oh, man, if, if only you knew how drunk we were before we went out there. Because <laughs> some, I just remember someone had tequila in the, the groomsman's room, and we were just taking shots uh. while getting ready. And then, then we all walked out there, and that's why I was able to wear my shades. <laughs> Even though it wasn't, it, it, was, it wasn't, you know, I know. I think like uh, somebody was like, "Tell Mike to take his shades off." I was like, "No, nah, man, the nah. sun's out. I'm good. <laughs> it's but, bright, baby." But yeah, y'all need to relax. <laughs> Best yeah. man's wearing shades. But nah, I, I just felt like super awkward there. I was like, "All right, I'm gonna be here for a minute, then I gotta go." <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it was a nice wedding. I did that, that cool. at my homeboy Will's wedding. Like I, I slid out like right when everyone started going to get food. I was like, "Time for me to like, go." go. Yeah. And I'm the nigga who don't like saying bye. To <laughs> I don't care. That's the sad thing. Like I got, I gotta say bye to people. So as I'm leaving, I'm like, damn, I'm leaving kind of early. We the opposite. Then, like, I gotta say bye to everybody. Like whenever I see the memes, it was like, this is me saying I'm going to the restroom when I'm really going to my car. <laughs> That's me. That's me. <laughs> I just be feeling bad, right? I just ain't got time to like go around the whole room and dap everybody up. Oh, congrat, congratulations! Yeah. Like I just ain't got time for it. I'm just like, yo. I went to uh, I was at the uh, thing, uh the friendsgiving thing for one of the spots that I work at downtown, and um, everybody was there. Yeah, and so it was like as soon as I walk in, it's like left, right, like oh, front, that. back. You just saying hi to everybody. And so when I'm getting ready to leave. I'm like, fuck, this is going to be a trick. <laughs> My guy, you just break out the phone and act like you're going outside to talk on it. And then you just go. <laughs> That's all you got to do. Well, and then I'm walking out and I'm like saying bye to everybody. And just one after one, like people just bumping in. Oh, you're leaving? No. But why? <laughs> and I'm just like, no. It's like, I got things to do. I'm sorry. And so I'm like heading out. And then uh, Savannah's walking with me. And she's like, you don't got to say bye to everybody. Yeah, I was thank like, you. I, just, I, I feel bad. <laughs> fuck. Fuck them. Yeah, they so. feelings ain't hurt as long as you let the the person closest to you know you're leaving yeah you're good that's all you gotta do don't make it a big deal i remember my my girl's mom's birthday like i was like she was like oh if you can go home if you want and i was like oh word because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i i've been there for like three <laughs> or four hours and it's like when i was leaving other people started to show up so then they were like oh why is he leaving so soon i was like what the fucker I was here for like four fucking five hours. Like, what are you talking about leaving? It's like, why'd you show up late? But <laughs> that's neither here nor there. But I was just like, oh, okay, well, let me go tell your mom bye. And like her mom's a real picture taker. Oh, she shit. She's like, oh, you're leaving? I was like, yeah. He's like, let's get a picture. Let's get like, a flick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So That should be killing me, too, because I don't really like posing for pictures. Me and then when I do, I always make dumbass faces. I just I don't know I I feel like Ricky Bobby like I don't it's not that I don't know what to do with my hands I don't know what to do with my smile like dog do for, I have I was just smile about to, I was about to say that I was like and then when you're smiling like your face starts shaking yeah you're like uh, do I uh, it's a fake smile yeah. like it's, it's, it's just like, do I gotta hold it or yeah. fuck and it's like did y'all take the picture yet and then they're taking like five or six pictures and you got this goofy ass smile yeah. on your face yeah that was the photo booth. Because I, I used to be a half smile guy, and then I got called out on it. Like, oh, is Mike half smiling? I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> so then I'll do the, like, you know, no teeth, no teeth at all, just like a. Just the grin? Yeah, but I feel devious when I'm doing that. <laughs> yeah, you look evil. I feel like, like something like underhanded. A, yeah, up to something. Yeah, like something is afoot, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then, then I'll show teeth when I, like, really just want to get this shit over with. Because if I show teeth. Then they won't take another picture because they know, oh, good, we got the perfect picture. Like, oh, come on, really smile. We got the big nigger to smile. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And they're all fucking happy about it. So oh, that's man. that's that's the the thought process of Michael. You know, <laughs> it, man, I hate smiling too because like my grill ain't the straightest. So I'm just like, y'all want to see all this? 
Like, like, come on, show us some teeth. You got a cute smile. I'm like, no, the fuck, I don't. Yeah, I hate that. Who, everyone says that. Not who, everyone has a cute smile. Like, who lied to like, you? Like, yeah, stop lying. Who lying to you saying my my smile is cute. It's not cute. I hate hearing that shit. Like, oh, uh, you got such a nice smile. Like, no, I don't. Yeah. Shut up. It's not that special. <laughs> it's just regular teeth. Like, yeah, you, you, I got the same smile as you, bitch. I don't <laughs> got, I don't got the straight joints. My uh. shit is, my shit is on lean. <laughs> Invisalign, I might, have to, <laughs> I might have to get into that. Invisalign, hey, I might have to. No, nah, I won't put that on the pod. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we we'll say that for after. Yeah, I'll say that for after. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I might have to do that Invisalign. See what my teeth look like. Scray. <laughs> trying to look like Michael C. Jordan. Michael C. Jordan. Scray um, teeth. Scray teeth. But All yeah, right. man, weddings are fucking. Mm, I don't know. I just I'm not. A f- I'll go, but. I got, there's a wedding coming up that I gotta go to, and I'm, I'm really not looking forward to that. So here's what's something that I'll broach to you: Are you an asshole if you don't go? Oh yeah, to the wedding? you're an asshole. You are. Mm-hmm. So especially if you're going with a date, or if a date invites you, uh-huh. and then it's like, well, my date was supposed to come, but because I had an option. Like, but I knew there wasn't an option. You yeah, know, there's never an option. Like she was like, like "Do you want to go?" And I was like, "No." <laughs> you know, my, my head was just like, "No." Like, why? Why would you ask me that? I don't even know those people. You're like, "Yeah." Like, "Yeah." Let me just find something to wear. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I don't have a suit. <laughs> yeah, yeah it is, I didn't have to wear a suit. I got like this really fly uh, sweater for like the winter months, Dog. and it's got like the the poofy collar on it and shit with the button, so it look nice. Dog. My closet is like broke, nigga. It's just it's all joggers it's, and, it's sh- all, and shirts. It's all joggers, black t-shirts, bomber jackets, <laughs> hoodies. You got you got Doug Funny's closet, nigga. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's all the same thing. I always look like I'm gonna go for a jog. I'm, I'm gonna go jogging. <laughs> wear the same outfit every goddamn day. <laughs> for real. And it's funny, like. People, are like, why don't you dress up? It's like oh, I am. This is a black t shirt, yeah, bitch. See, Look at this. See this? This is uh, this is good fella. <laughs> yes, good fella. <laughs> good fella t shirt. Yes, this shit is really soft. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, nah, that's me. I, I, we've had this conversation before. Like my closet is all black yeah. shirts. You know, I really do want to step it up and maybe get me a croc skin. Buttercream, 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 crack skin. <laughs> what size is the waist? Uh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jeremy Pippen. <laughs> That's it's, it's so random that, yeah. he's, that he's in that. Um, yeah, I really want to start suiting it up though. You know, maybe, maybe I'll get that job I always wanted. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. Here's the thing. Here's the crazy thing. Before pandemic, like a uh, a dress code was required at, at the bank when I was working there. Yeah. So I did. I had the slacks. I had the hard bottom yeah, that's shoes. Right. You was fitted up. Like I would always get fitted up. I had button ups that I copped, and I like I enjoyed it. And then they was just like, "Oh, we don't need a dress code." And I was like, "All right, nigga, <laughs> polo it is, <laughs> polo and jeans it is, my guy." Like I'm waiting to bust out this like, denim. Uh, yeah, and it's just ever since then I, I can't go back. Like I'm just yeah. like, man, I can't go back. But I remember loving it. Like, oh yeah, man, I get to put on a new button up, I'd iron my shit the night before. I'd be all happy, yeah, be looking like, all fresh. Like, yeah, get, get the cuffs all nice and shit, button all good. Like, hey guys. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Michael. Yeah. Walking in the world. How, how can I help you, sir? Well, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, what's well, shit? Moving on. I know we've been at it for a minute. Yeah. Speaking of weddings, some good wedding music just dropped. Ooh. Silk Sonic, man. That's a man. I'm gonna I'm keep, I'm keep this brief. Okay. Um, but the Silk Sonic that album is very refreshing, just because of all the other shit that I I constantly listen to and I have to listen to. Um, it's it's very refreshing. I just I I enjoy listening to it thoroughly from beginning to end. I'll tell you this, it was quick. You you say brief? I didn't even know it ended. Yeah. Because, I, of course, I'm listening to it on Spotify, and after an album ends, it just keeps playing music that's close to it. Yeah. So, like, when it gets to Blast Off, which is the last song on the on the, on the the album, it goes to that, uh, an, it goes to, like, a Bruno Mars song that I've heard before, but like, I didn't, then I was just like, wait, this is on here? Like, damn, they put this on the album? I was like, man, I didn't know this was Silk Sonic, and then it just jumps to, like, Justin Timberlake, and I was just like, wait, 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 it's over? <laughs> Yeah. And I had to like go back and look. I was like, "Oh shit! I didn't even know it was over." Like I literally listened to it within like 
like 30 minutes before I like jumped in the shower to like head out and get like the rest of the shit for the drink. Like I was just like, fuck. Yeah, I hope they uh they keep doing the whole Silk Sonic thing and you know release some more projects because it, it's definitely the something you never knew you needed. Yeah, that's that's exactly what Silk Sonic and is. And who would have thought like them two together would be a fucking exactly that shit is wild. Never never thought I needed it, but I know when the first track dropped, I was just like, damn, this is fire. When I first seen, it, I was like, oh, Mars and Anderson Peck, how the fuck is that gonna work? And then. They and then it worked so well. <laughs> the door open. I was like, "Damn, okay, okay, okay." All right. And they dropped the skate for the summertime. Yeah. And then, of course, it's um. This bitch got me. That shit. It's <laughs> just that shit's killing it right now, and it's like the video is hilarious. Just like everything about it, but just just them tapping into that retro vibe. Yeah. And making it sound like that is just like crazy. I remember like the <laughs> the whole thing in the internet because like. Remember, they announced, like, the album was going to drop, like, way back in May. Yeah. And then, like, niggas was just like, man, these cokehead-ass niggas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they really tapped into, like, the, the whole 70s vibe. They just in the studio just snorting mounds of coke, they not fucking, doing shit. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, when are we going to make this record, man? <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> Just one more. It's just like that's why they like, we ain't getting no fucking album in, in next week or whatever they said, and then that's why they took so long, quote unquote. But no, definitely worth the wait. Definitely fun album. Great date music shit. Yeah, great shit to just throw on if you go on a date and take your girl to somewhere nice. If you ain't heard that shit, go go get that. Go listen to that. Yeah, it's fire. I, I wonder if they're gonna release it on vinyl. I want that. Ah, they got to. If they gonna stick with the retro vibe all the way together, you, you they got to. They probably already do. I just yeah. haven't. I haven't looked. You got to put that on vinyl. Um, but I'm gonna say this: I feel like there wouldn't be no Silk Sonic album if there wasn't Awaken My Love. Mm. So thanks, Gambino. Thanks, Gambino. Because he really brought that like funk soul shit. Like niggas was listening to Redbone, and they was probably like, "Oh, we can do this." Yeah. So that's crazy. But then again, I mean. Bruno Mars was doing a lot of shit with like Mark Ronson and he had that whole like Yeah, Bruno's always had like this retro yeah, vibe. Like retro to, like funk to soul his yeah, sound. funk soul. And then Anderson has just been nice on the drums, but he Yeah, I mean there are points where you can catch like his soulfulness in his singing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you just didn't think it would mesh so well with, with Bruno fucking Mars, yeah. which is crazy. But no, nah, I'm always a fan of super groups popping up out of nowhere. It's dope as shit. You know what's funny to me though? Is there some parts on the album where I hear Anderson Pack singing? And oh, it kind of sounds like Cisco. What song? What uh, song? I th- well, um, what's the Smoking Out the Window? Yeah. That one, there's like some parts where I'm like, damn, this kind of sounds like Cisco. <laughs> Let me see what song it was. I was like, he's just like, he's like a super dope Cisco. Because I, hold on a sec. Listeners, I'm, I'm looking something up on Spotify right now. Oh, man. But yeah. And I posted this shit on Facebook, and somebody's like, dog, I can't unhear it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is a really dope Cisco. Uh, I think it was After Last Night, mm-hmm. or it's the Put on a Smile song, because I read that shit when you posted it, <laughs> and then like I heard it for a second. I was like, damn, this nigga do sound like Cisco. Yeah. It's like, damn, that's crazy. Hey, so Cisco, if you're listening, you might have a market. Ooh, that's just Cisco. some scandalous. You know, it's funny. It was like after that, like I started listening like that and Drew Hill, and like all <laughs> kinds of shit. Oh uh, man, this nigga. Well, shit. True. Um, I think you know. Got a little bit away from us. We got a little saucy off the got, nog. Got a you little know, pause. <laughs> saucy uh, off the nog. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You know. So this is. Are you? Are we rapping? Yeah, we can rap. Rap. We, we rapping. Rap. We got wrap some. It up. We got some more nog to partake in. You feel me? Um. But yeah. God damn, let's see right here. <laughs> Anyways, you can find us every Wednesday uh on your favorite podcast uh platforms, Spotify, Apple, and uh we also do post the visuals on YouTube. I go by the name of Michael Stokes. You can find me at MD Martin two two eight on at G at oh, not that's the email. You're not hackers, I'm not giving that to you, but you can find me at MD Martin two two eight on Instagram. Yo, quick question. Why is it cool to be the drunk aunt but not the drunk uncle? I don't know. No, that's funny you said that because fucking like because I was about to be like, oh fucking look at me, drunk uncle. I'm like, nah, it's not funny because I'll, I'll talk not, about it off pop. I'll it's not. It it's not cool to be drunk uncle, but everybody wants the drunk aunt that fucking chain smoke cigarettes and talk shit. 
But you can't be the drunk oh, uncle. Oh, that's like, just auntie. Yeah. That's just auntie. You funny. You go dance with your auntie. But you know what I'm saying? But if you the drunk uncle, man, it's it's always on some weird. Your shit. uncle Chaku's got a problem. You like, know yeah, that. Like, why, why 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 the fuck I got a problem, huh? Why the fuck Chaku got a problem? Hmm? Hmm? Chaku, have you been dipping into the sauce again? So the fuck? What if I been <laughs> dipping into the sauce? God damn it! Do what the fuck I want. I'm grown. <laughs> uh, but yeah, on that note, you can catch me on Instagram at uh, Nunchuck Johnson. Uh, you can catch us on. A, yeah, he already said the shits. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we are gonna get about this bitch. Peace. Peace.